Okay, so you've installed Elementor Pro, you have WooCommerce installed, and now it's generated these template pages. You see cart page, checkout page, store page. Now, if you go over to edit with Elementor for your shop page, you'll see an error is going to come up. It says you must recall the content function in the current template. That basically means that you need to go back and edit this within the templates theme builder area. Now we already have a product archive set up in this um, in this instance, but if you're starting from scratch, you're going to need to go to add new, select the type of uh, template you're going to work on, which is going to be archive for or products archive for the shop page, and then you're going to name it shop. I'm going to name it shop test because this is a test page. So we're going to create the template and I can bring in my templates because you know they're already built. Okay. Da, da, da. So you see what we have here. We have our header built, a little uh, animated headline, and then we have our edit product section in here. Now all that is is this little drag and drop area right here. You can filter these. We have it um, queried so that it pulls from the latest product source first and then sorts them randomly. We also have our little product search um, plugin or little uh, widget over here. And then we have our product categories, tags with custom CSS on top of that. Okay, so after you build this out however you would like to make it look, you're going to go to your save options, click display conditions, add conditions, and then you're going to make sure that it says include all product archives. Now I already have a template for this, so it's not going to let me overwrite it, but for you this message shouldn't pop up, so all you'll have to do is click save and close. I'm going to go back to show you the rest of these. Uh, instructions. So after you create your shop page, you're going to want to go into WooCommerce, Settings, go to Products, and then you're going to want to make sure that the um, shop page that you have selected, which would be in your, in your Pages area, remember again that this page cannot be edited in this area. It has to be edited in Templates. Um, but this is just where you can change like the permalink and the actual name of the shop page if you wanted to make it custom. So we're going to go back in here and select the correct shop page. And what this does is it tells Elementor to pull that template that you just built for all product archives into this instance. So let me know if you have any questions about that. And um, that's all for now.